subscribe to Oxtix Technologies channel and press this bell icon to get notification. Hello friends, in this video I will make your idea more clear about the low pass filter and the high pass filter and I will tell you the basic difference between the low pass and the high pass filter. So for that I have this piece of paper and I have these two components which is a resistor and a capacitor, obviously a non-polar capacitor. So I will make a RC filter, I will make a RC low pass and RC high pass filter. Means that I will make the resistor capacitor based high pass filter and the resistor capacitor based low pass filter. So first of all if I talk about the high pass filter, So I will just make a schematic diagram of the high pass filter. Here we got a resistor first and then we have a capacitor in series. So I say R means resistor and C means capacitor and these points this is our RL means this is our output means that this is our load on which we will get our output and this is our input these points is the input and obviously this is the common point means that this is the ground so friends we have this schematic diagram of the high pass filter and now I will just make the schematic of the low pass filter So the basic difference between the low pass and the high pass filter is that I will just flip this resistor and the capacitor. So it means that we have the capacitor here and the resistor here. So this is the output on which we will get the load. and this is the input so we have this resistor and the capacitor so this is the basic difference between the low pass and the high pass filter high pass filter will block all the lower frequencies and the mid range frequencies the low pass filter will block the high pass frequencies and the mid range frequencies and will allow only the low frequencies to the load so this was the basic difference between the low pass and the high pass filter and now I will demonstrate in front of you and I will just make this high pass filter first. So I have this non-polar capacitor as well as I have this resistor and I will make a very basic high pass filter first. So here I can see I have a resistor and the capacitors and I will join them like that. So, now let me tell you the inputs and the outputs. By considering this diagram. So here the resistor, I have put my actual resistor on my schematic diagram and here is the capacitor. So it means that it clearly shows here you can see, let me show you more clearly. So guys here you can see that I have placed resistor on its place and the capacitor on its place. So as far as our schematic diagram is concerned then this is the input means that I will give input at these points. The first point will be that and the ground point will be that and I will get my output from this point and this point so that will be my high pass filter so that's it and now let's talk about the low pass filter so friends here we have our low pass filter and you can see I have placed the capacitor according to the schematic diagram I have placed all, uh, both the capacitors and the resistors and for that you will just give input at this point and this point and you will get output from the resistor 
and the common point. So that was the basic difference between the high pass filter and the low pass filter and hope you understand and if you have any questions then you can comment below about these about this high pass and the low pass filter thanks for watching the video goodbye